Hello, welcome to Made by KM. I am Kaushik. In this video, I will show you how we can effectively diffuse CO2 gas produced in a DIY CO2 generator in our planted aquariums. We use CO2 diffusers to dissolve CO2 gas in aquarium water. CO2 diffusers break up large bubbles of CO2 gas into smaller bubbles and help dissolve CO2 gas more easily in water. The smaller the bubble, the more efficiently the CO2 gas will dissolve in the water. But a high quality CO2 atomizer or a CO2 diffuser will not work with a DIY CO2 generator system because these require high pressure to work properly and the pressure of CO2 gas produced in this method is very low. So here we generally use simple ceramic glass CO2 diffusers to diffuse CO2 gas in our planted aquariums. Now you can also easily make a few types of CO2 diffusers at home and using them you can diffuse CO2 gas quite efficiently in your planted aquariums. So let's see how this can be made. You can use wooden chopsticks to diffuse CO2 gas here. First cut a piece about 1 inch from a chopstick. Then cut the piece diagonally so that its thickness gradually decreases towards one end. Now attach an airline tubing of about one inch to the thicker end of that piece. Then take an L-shaped tubing connector and attach it to the other end of that tubing. And that's it. A chopstick CO2 diffuser has now been made. Now connect the diffuser at the end of the tubing of the CO2 generator. And finally attach a suction cup to it. Now stick it with the glass in the aquarium. After a while tiny bubbles of CO2 gas will start coming out of it. It will diffuse CO2 gas in water very effectively just like a ceramic glass diffuser. Sometimes it produces even smaller bubbles than ceramic glass diffusers. Thus, in this method, CO2 gas can be dissolved in aquarium water in a very efficient manner. Now, let's look at another method of diffusing CO2 in planted aquariums. Here, you can also diffuse CO2 using a cotton cigarette filter. First, pull out the cotton filter from the inside of the cigarette with the help of a tweezers. These cotton filters for cigarettes are available to buy separately in packs. You can also use them here. Now take an L-shaped tubing connector and attach an airline tubing of about 1 inch to it. Attach another L-shaped connector to the other end of this tubing in this way. Now take another tubing of about 1 inch and attach it to that connector. After that, take the cotton filter, tear it in half and insert a portion of it well into that tubing. Next, cut off the top part of it with scissors. And now, this cigarette filter CO2 diffuser has been made. As before, connect the diffuser to the end of the tubing of the CO2 generator and attach a suction cup to it. Now stick it with the glass in the aquarium. After a while, once the pressure is built, very small bubbles of CO2 gas will start coming out of there. The CO2 gas bubbles produced by this method will be smaller in size than those produced by any chopstick CO2 diffuser or ceramic glass diffuser. Thus, in this method, CO2 gas will dissolve much better in aquarium water. Now, the production of CO2 gas from yeast generated CO2 systems cannot be stopped. So, if you do not want to diffuse or supply CO2 in your aquarium at night or when the lights are not on, simply detach the tubing of the CO2 generator from the check valve. Now, I will show you another method of diffusing CO2 in aquariums, which in my opinion is the best method for a DIY CO2 generator system. Let's see. Here, in addition to your main filter, you can use a small internal power filter to diffuse CO2 gas into the aquarium very efficiently. The impeller inside the filter will break up the large bubbles of CO2 gas into micro bubbles and help diffuse CO2 into the aquarium. Here, first cut off some portion of the filter sponge. Then make a hole about 4mm in the upper part on one side of the filter chamber. 
Now take an L-shaped tubing connector and insert it into that hole. After that insert the sponge into the chamber. Then attach the cover to the chamber and finally attach the power head. Thus it has now become a power filter CO2 diffuser. Now connect the tubing of the CO2 generator to the connector of the filter. Then install the filter in your aquarium and turn on the switch. You will immediately notice that the filter is scattering micro bubbles of CO2 gas throughout the tank. The CO2 gas bubbles produced by this method will be much smaller in size than the other diffusers I have shown before. Moreover, in this method the CO2 gas will spread well over all parts of the aquarium, which would not be possible by the previous diffusers. Here, if you do not want to diffuse CO2 in your aquarium at night or when the lights are not on, just turn off the filter. The large bubbles of CO2 gas will not disperse and will simply rise straight up and leave the aquarium water. For these reasons, in my opinion, this is the best DIY CO2 diffuser for a DIY CO2 generator system. So I hope you find this video informative. If you haven't seen my long lasting DIY CO2 generator video yet, please watch it here. See you in the next one. Thanks for watching.